Hey guys, what's up? So let's talk about this little guy. This is the Zoom H5. It basically is a field or audio recorder you connect your microphones to when you need like a second system sound recording going on, especially with DSLRs and stuff like that that don't have any good preamps. But you can use this as audio interface uh, powered via USB on any system like PC and Mac as well, which is nice. If you already have that and you kind of need an audio interface to connect like a microphone, a real one like this one, to your system to make some sort of voiceovers or just need a better headphone preamp, so to speak, um, because certain um, external devices like some of those uh, dongles here, they kind of tend to have like a, a make the headphone output noisy. With this, you are good to go. And uh, it's basically, you just need a USB cable. It's not micro, mini, I think. It's the mini USB. You have uh, the USB connector right there. You can connect um, this via this connection to any USB port. Of course, I need a dongle. Um, maybe I get a USB-C to a mini USB um, connector at some point. But yeah, this is uh, just like that. Here we go. Make sure my coffee is not in the way. Yes, this uh, could be better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the dongle life is real. Um, but then again, um, I just power this unit up. There's the power switch here. I just hold it down and then it kind of connects. So you could use this as SD card reader if you <laughs> want to use a fancy SD card reader. But then again, uh, with the menu, I go to audio interface, select this. Now you can ch choose between multi-track and stereo. Stereo basically combines those two to one stereo track, which is okay, but if you want uh, only like uh, one microphone or whatever, you actually multi-track is a little bit better. And then you actually can choose like um, battery powered. If you run out of uh, USB power supply, whatever, you could use the batteries that are inside, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm actually going to use bus powered. So now this machine gives this machine power and you have uh, all the connections like microphone in, line in. If you have the um, top unit here, you actually have a line in as well. Yeah, and you actually um, also get like when you're on the menu, I'm going into the menu now, um, you go to in out and you have low cut, you have like limiter, I'm connecting to first. So compressor, what I use for like voiceovers and stuff like that. You have all that nice stuff that you get with this audio unit right in there. So actually this makes a fine um, microphone preamp on the road with compressor and limiter for this uh, microphone input. Really nice. So yes, I choose this one. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, and now when I go um, into my sound settings, I actually just found this uh, H5 here. And uh, there you go. When I play back uh, stuff, it doesn't come out of the speakers here. It actually plays. Um, yeah, it has an internal speaker, uh, which is basically not good. So what I do is uh, use the um, headphone output. That's also nice. You have a line out, as you can see here. You have a line out. You can connect like speakers or a mixer or whatever, and you have a second uh, headphone jack and uh, get all kinds of internal monitoring. You have a little mixer inside actually um, that you actually could monitor like input and playback. Yeah, it, it's really, really interesting. It's really a good unit. I didn't realize. So now I have my Audio-Technica connected to this. 
and So this works out really nice. Um, I have this on the road anyways with me when I shoot, so this gives me a good um, audio interface and I can, can connect like the, the um, road microphone here and I connect this here. And now I basically, as you can see, I have um, one, two, three, and I have the limiter and the compressor on, so it doesn't really get distorted. This is really nice. Yeah, this works and I can uh, actually record um, voiceover right, right into my machine if I want to. Just go here. There we go. And um, advanced. And you can record voiceovers just like that. Yeah, so the dongle life is real, but um, this is a nice unit. Uh, if you have one already, just use it as audio interface if you need one. Only downside is though, um, it kinda doesn't power up by itself. So you have to power this unit on and select audio interface every time you connect it to this machine or you power up or restart or whatever. Um, it kind of is a little bit annoying, but actually not a big deal. So just keep in mind um, that you have to switch it on and off uh, or off and on and whatever if you need that. So anyways, that's it. Nice one. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.